Hello everyone, my name is Grant Katanik, and this is Grape City's NG Comp Breakdown. I had the pleasure of representing Grape City at last month's annual Angular Focus Conference for my first time. And first, I would like to give a shout out to our accommodating hosts. It was a tremendous event, one I have been looking forward to for every year now, and it fully lived up to my expectations. We got to experience everything from the city, to the show floor, to key presentations, and even got to present ourselves. Salt Lake City was a wonderful backdrop to the developer conference with safe, easily walkable city streets and clean and free public transportation. Our team enjoyed taking in all the city's wonderful sights, especially the surrounding mountains, and walking north of the Little America Hotel where the conference is located. We have to recommend trying White Horse on Main Street if you're ever in the area for the best local offerings. If you missed our booth, it featured our Actor Reports product consultant, Caleb Gekovich, and myself walking through Great City's JavaScript product line and handing out a ton of goodies. We had a wonderful time both giving a brief overview of our products and taking a technical deep dive with all of the incredible attendees. We also had all of our most popular Great City branded items with both our iHeart code and throwback tees making an appearance alongside our pens, lanyards, water bottles, USB fans, totes, and socks to make sure everyone had their own Grape City outfit. I'm still shocked to say that we only sent back a, few, a handful of pens and lanyards as the rest was divided among the attendees. As an attendee myself, I also had the opportunity to sit in on a few very interesting presentations. I dive into it more in my blog, but one of note was focused on updating your Angular application from older versions to the latest version of Angular. It was very interesting for me to hear how others are using Angular in their application and a way a fellow developer was able to create his own workaround where others had given up before. My biggest takeaway was when the presenter, after giving a 15 minute talk about how to properly update Angular through each version said you can also rip out your application and put it into a fresh Angular shell. This is something every developer runs into from time to time, so it got a good laugh out of the crowd. When it came close to the time to give my presentation, I fell under the weather, so we called upon Actor Reports product consultant Caleb Gekovich last minute and he did amazing. I was planning on adding commentary to add a little bit more depth to my own presentation, which is the one Caleb graciously gave last minute. So without further ado, here's Caleb's presentation with my additional commentary. City. We're a developer solutions company. My name is Caleb Gekovich. I'm the Active Reports JS product consultant. And I'm just going to share a little bit about our products today. Uh, so, a few of our products ranging from left to right here. We have Active Reports JS. It's a reporting solution. Spread JS. It offers Excel like functionality in the browser. And Widgmo. It's a versatile uh, component library. So a little bit about Widgmo, it's our flexible, like I said, component library. It has over 100 different components to help you build your applications. Uh, it enables devs to help create any app in less time. And a good example of the capabilities is uh, combining our controls to create a dynamic dashboard, as you can see in the examples here. Uh, FlexGrid is our most popular component. It features a rich data grid. Uh, it's fast, flexible, and familiar to end users. It's used in each of these previous examples, and it can combine data and our charts and tables to dynamically express uh, whatever you need in your application. Uh, Widgmo has over 100 advanced controls, like I mentioned, uh, from grids to charts to everything in between. Uh, and if you want to learn more, we're right back there. You can come stop by our booth, giving away goodies. We have plenty to give away stuff. So that's a quick little presentation. Thank you, everyone. In the presentation, you will see I repeated those three images showcasing FlexGrid and other Widgmo components. 
These are all screenshots from our demos where you can easily customize and test them yourself. Try clicking the link in the description or on screen to learn more. Overall, NGConf was an excellent event where we enjoyed learning more about Angular, getting to network with the community, and exploring a charming city. Thank you and we look forward to seeing everyone again next year.